Hi and thanks for tuning in again to another vlog. Since the last one I have been um, fettling the, the A pillar. Um, if you can remember the last time when I fitted it there was a gap here. So what I've done is I've pieced a, a bit of metal in there, shaped it, pieced it in and um, just given it a coat of edge primer at the moment. And now this A pillar and doorstep is absolutely rigid and it is very strong. So yeah, well, that's where we're up to at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is um, we'll get the we'll get the hinge pillar or the hinge pillar, the hinge panel attached to the A pillar or hinge pillar, whatever you want to call it. And um, that'll be that. I have the the old one here, that's a bit humped like, you can see the rot on it, but as you can see, you can see the various spot welds in that, obviously I won't be spot welding it because I don't have a spot welder, um, so what I will be doing is I'll be punching some holes roughly where these ones are, or thereabouts, and um, plug welding the uh, the panel here. So we'll crack on with that. Right, let's make a start on um, getting these areas here drilled up. Ground the, the paint off on the back of the um, the hinge panel here, and it's revealing the the shiny metal. So what I'll do now is I'll just grind a little bit of paint off round about these holes here, and then we'll clamp it up 
and um, weld it on.
that's that all um, ground back and welded in. So what I'll do now is I'll um, wax some paint on that to obviously stop it from rusting and keep it clean. But this is this area is rock solid now, and where the the paint spun off at the back there, I can get you in. I will um, obviously paint that as well. But as you can see there, just in here, the paint, if I bring you up, the paint is right behind these panels now. Whereas in the factory they weren't, obviously it was just um, bare metal pieces welded together and then it all went for painting or roto dipping and then painting. But at least here. I've managed to get all the paint behind the behind the joints, and hopefully that'll um, keep it clean. I don't know if I should really put spot welds in there, hmm. probably makes sense wouldn't it? Yeah, I think I'll put some welds down here. So what I'm going to do to drill the pieces, to drill this section here to weld it, that is a complete oversight on my part, is use my spot weld drill to drill through it, that way it won't pierce the, the back section here. I've already done one, one hole and that's right through, so I'll just weld into that and then that will join these two pieces of metal together, or stiffen it up anyway, because as you can see I've only got welds down this side at the moment. That was a complete oversight on my part. Um, I should really slow down and think about things before I, before I move on. I'm just wanting to get this project pushed on so um, hence how I forgot about that. But not to worry, we're going to rectify it right now. Right, we lost a little bit of footage there because the camcorder or memory card went um, full again. Um, it's a 32 gig, but recording in HD, the 32 gig doesn't last very long, unfortunately. But anyway, as you can see, I've welded all these um, holes up now, and um, I've slid the, the boxing plate in, if we go inside the car. Really see it how it would look. So that's how it would look there. That's my fire that's just kicked in. I'll just turn that off. Right, as you can see there, um, the the boxing plate is just clamped in there just now. Um, I think that's its final position. Just looking at the other side, pretty much the same. You can see a little bit of the, a little bit of the um, door thing just up, up there. And again, there, if anything, it could maybe slide back a little. It's too too much zoomed in. 
just a little bit too much there. Maybe push that back a little. But that's the that's the M machine panel, and I have to say it is actually a very good fit. I haven't had to adjust it yet, but I've still got the inner wing to go in here. So I think I'll just put paint over that. I'm not even going to bother grinding that down because it's not seen. And if I put paint on that, it'll um, obviously help protect the, the paint, you know. And um, move on. As you can see there, I'm not um, I'm not scrimping on the paint. I'd rather get as much of the car painted as, as possible, and as much of the areas that's not seen painted as possible, because um, I want to try and slow the rot down on these. I mean, they're, they're going to rot eventually, you know. Especially up here in Scotland, with all the salt on the roads and the pishy rain that we get. So if I can do my best to protect the metal. Um, from rot and make it last a bit longer, well that can only be a good thing I suppose. Right, I had to stop there for my tea. Um, so what I've done, I've just done this off camera. I've put another couple of welds in down here just to stiffen up the bottom of the plate and I've given this a, a little mist in of um, etching primer as well because that was bare metal so just to keep it all clean and hopefully stop it from rusting um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give that a little quick coat of top coat right this is where we're at now um, I've done a few bits and pieces off camera so um, I'm going to call it a day for, for today and um, order more welding clamps because that's what I need. If you can hear all the popping and the banging, it's fireworks night tonight. It's Sunday the 5th of November. So, this is where we're at. Um, I've clamped uh, the, boxing, the boxing section in here. That is actually quite a good, um, that's quite a good fit. And that's an M machine panel. That isn't a heritage one. I will have to put a little ledge on the panel here as per the original one, as you can see there. That's so that the um, lower dash panel, whatever that's called, can sit on it. So I've got that to do. And I'll also have to weld, probably weld something else at the side for it to locate into. Um, these are just held on with a couple of bolts at the moment, the inner wing. Um, I'm going to have to buy longer clamps. I should have done it a while ago. I keep saying that. But I'm lazy and I didn't. So I'm going to have to order more clamps. Um, like this but with a, a deeper mouth um, so that I can pull I don't know if you can see it so that I can pull this section in to weld it on and I've obviously still got all the holes to drill in the panels but the fit is really good I mean that's where I picked off the old panel and the new panel just fits onto it lovely. So I've got a little bit of dressing to do 
round about here but it's not too bad um, where it butts on the floor is really good as well that is a very good fit, that is nice and tight against that so what I'll do is I'll clean that up prior to welding that in and I'll just drill a series of holes or punch a series of holes all around that so there's the panel fit in here we get the light in and the panel fit is quite good, I just need to dress that into it the fit up there, it's quite good as well again all that will pull in when I get clamps and screws that's me just pushing it slightly and it's going in so yeah it's starting to get there it's starting to look like a car again so what I need to do now is get this garage tidied up because it's a bit messy and um, crack on with the with the inner ring um, probably, probably the later part of next week I want a few days off and um, that will give me a chance to order up the parts Right, a couple of days have passed um, since our last segment you've just seen there um, and what I've done is I've purchased a, a longer clamp and also a door crimper thing um, that's the that's the, the, the crimper there and it comes with the extension plate I think it's the same one as what um, Dave Jaguar's got and if I pick up the the camera we can see the, the longer clamp and that will that will let me reach in there and um, plus it's got the spreader feet on it as well and um, other long clamps just got a pointer on it and I don't want to damage the panel so that's ideal and just at the back there I've got a lumpy wood just spreading away so the next job after this video um, Let's make a start on that. And I've also brought my mini clock down from um, my spare room. I thought it would be better in here. That other clock that I had in here, the ticking was too noisy. I ended up pulling the battery out of it. What do you expect for a pound out pound one? Right, anyway, I'd like to um, thank all you guys for your comments. Uh, your positive comments um, in, in my last video uh, yeah you're right I do need to um, brace the shell up a bit more and I have got bracing bar for it I've actually had the bracing bar since I've done the jig um, so yeah I think I need to um, get that braced up a bit more but if any of you guys have got any plans or you know the best way to brace the, the car up if you don't mind drop me an email um, Sean1977 Mini uh, Sean C 1977 Mini at hotmail.com uh, You'll get the, the link from my email address in the About Me um, page on this YouTube channel so if you could um, maybe drop me a wee email um, or some photographs of how you've braced your shell um, that could help me out that would be great and also I'd like to say a mega thanks to Graham Stockdale um, for um, contacting me through the, the, the Facebook page that's um, Angus1977 um, and all your pictures of your build Graham that's looking really good and I believe you said that you were on Car of the Week on Tom's channel um, last week I think it was last week I seen it on there but yeah your, your car is going to be absolutely cracking mate and I do love that colour aqua um, I haven't, I don't think I've seen any minis in aqua, I've certainly seen a marina in aqua but I don't think I've ever seen a mini so that'll be good to see um, your car when it's done, you know, so yeah you're doing well there mate. Um, regarding the door, 
um, and it was Graham that was asking, he was one of the guys that was asking about this as well as a few others. Um, yeah, it does still fit, you know, so if I open it, close it, a little, little slight rub there, you know, but that's only because the, I think the top hinge here is knackered, I can't, I can't even tighten that bolt, you know, because it's knackered, it won't go tight, plus the hinges are, are not the best. That was old hinges that I had lying about because uh, the hinges for for the car, you know, I try to muck a bit with them and fix them because the, the nuts had snapped on them. But they're knackered, eh, as you can see there. So, um, yeah, the door does still fit, you know. And the panel gap round about it is is good. The only thing is, is it won't stay shut like that. So that's probably just because the inner ring isn't um, fitted properly, or the hinges are knackered, or something else. But yeah, the gap, the panel gap looks okay, and it also looks okay along the bottom there. So yeah. That's where we're at, and with that long clamp in, it's hard to see, but it's closing this gap here down. You know, obviously I need to pinch it, pinch it up here. But I'll come to that when I'm welding it. So yeah, guys, I think we'll call it a day at this. Get this video edited and um, get it uploaded. So once again, guys. As if you've made it to to where you are now here, thanks for watching, and um, be sure to check out the the Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Angus1977, and over there we can get some chit chat and sending photos of your car and what have you. And there it'd be ideal. Anyway, guys, catch you later. Bye.